Well, more and more women are taking to the highways on two wheels. The motorcycle industry has even increased their ad campaigns targeting female riders. And there is a small group of ladies truly born to be wild. They are weekend motorcycle racers, matching pace with some of the best endurance riders in the region. And a special behind the wheel, I got a chance to meet four of these female road warriors and found that the need for speed comes in all shapes and sizes. There's one group that stands out from the crowd here at the Texas World Speedway. It's the only team made up of all female racers. Robin owns the team's race bike. She's an industrial engineer and is crazy about two-wheeled adventures. Kathy is a pilot for Spirit Airlines, as if that's not exciting enough. Yulia is a big shot lawyer from Houston, ready and able. And then there is Suzette, the physical therapist with her trademark pigtails. Not out there. What's the toughest, toughest part of being out there? The ponytail. The guys don't like being passed by the ponytail. In a male-dominated sport, endurance racing is not an easy ride. Competitors race for hours, and these ladies don't miss a beat. It's the speed and the competition, the feeling you get when you pass somebody. You know, and uh, just going into a corner as hard as you can, leaning your leaning over so far, your knees just planted on the ground when you're going through the corner. There's, there's nothing like that. You can't miss their camp with the pink pit signs and their flair for femininity. Most guys out here understand that there are advantages to being a female rider. Every time I get on the bike, I'm probably a little faster than somebody who's 100 pounds heavier than me, so that's good. I got to say, the biggest difference between us and a lot of riders here is a little less testosterone, a little more reason. You know, endurance re racing is endurance racing because it's about making it five hours, six hours, without crashing, without breaking down, without running out of gas. <laughs> Some early morning accidents sent two riders to the hospital. Despite these dangers, these women are driven to ride. And it feels so good when you get it right. When you do a really good smooth lap or a really good smooth corner, it just it feels great. It's, it's an adrenaline rush. I mean, it is addictive, definitely. Uh, just uh, bouncing handlebars off of these guys. The number of female motorcyclists here in the United States is on the rise, and these courageous female racers are among those leading the pack. I mean, we're not running at the front, but we're certainly not dead last. And I think we get a lot of respect out here. They certainly do.